basics of stock market for beginners so uh, myself ganeshan dharnidharan a certified research analyst and branch manager of alibaba financial service pondicherry so as we discussed yesterday so uh, in the inauguration so uh, right now i'll just go through once again what are the things which is going to be covered in this course module okay so uh, we are going to discuss about the price action trading and the cpr indicator camera trading setups option basics and option strategies and once everything is done then you will be graduated and uh, you definitely after the graduation you will be in position to uh, understand the market and uh, what sort of strategies you can place uh, whenever the market turns out uh, to be a directional one or a non directional one okay so uh, this is a price action trading tutorial so we will be covering um, the candle types the buy zone formation sell zone formations zone action reactions components line placement so until this line placement we will be covering in depth today okay so uh, tomorrow we will be starting with uh, trading time frames and uh, refining uh, time frames and the confluence so i think uh, by tomorrow or day after tomorrow we will be completing the price action trading and uh, cpr indicators so we will be discussing all these chapters uh, in the upcoming week and uh, so these are the topics which are going to be covered under uh, camerella and option basics and then option strategies okay so it is going to be a, a session of almost like 40 i think it, it may extend to the day of 40 so um it's going to be something a very big journey and uh, i just request you guys uh, to be a part of this video series for uh, till the, till the end so that you will be in position to understand the uh, market scenarios in a very easy way okay now uh, let me just discuss about the market players okay so this is very important the market players so uh, we'll be discussing about the initiative buyers sellers responsive buyers and sellers until this video uh, series is end okay so uh, the initiative buyers and sellers are nothing but they are the banks insurance companies mutual funds and hedge funds and etc etc okay so these guys plays a vital role and a major role in um, in moving the market the moving a particular stocks price from uh, the high to the low or low to the high okay so it is totally the initiative buyers and sellers um, gameplay which moves the market okay so uh, who are they so they can be a bank a foreign in, uh, foreign investors or uh, the insurance companies the mutual funds okay and um, regarding the responsive buyers uh, responsive buyers and sellers it's we okay the, the retailers will be the responsive buyers and the responsive sellers okay so uh, you will be understanding more about these initiative buyers sellers responsive buyers and sellers in the upcoming slides okay so before that uh, now the very important thing you need to understand okay so as a novice as a novice you should understand this thing uh, this four lines in a very uh, easy way why because the initiative buyers okay so the initiative buyers do whatever so see like if, if you're going to buy so they'll be placing their sell order okay so whatever we do they they do just opposite to that okay they do just opposite to that because we follow a method see like most of the novices who are watching this video you will be what uh, you will be following some sort of indicator okay so there is no indicators which is a leading indicator so all the indicators are lagging okay now what happens whenever the price has made a move whenever the price has made a move then only the indicator show you that you are going to it, it, it will show you something like buy okay once you enter into the trade and that will be the highest to price and after that the market starts to fall 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 okay but over here the initiative buyers what they do they buy at a cheap price they buy at a cheap price 
okay and whereas we the responsive buyers we buy at a expensive price we buy at a expensive price and the as a initiative sellers they sell at a expensive price the initiative sellers they sell at expensive price but where we will be selling at a very cheap price okay we will be selling at a very cheap price okay so in this video series you will be taught how to trade along with the initiative buyer and initiative seller okay so that's the first important thing you need to take it your mind so what this video series is going to provide so it is it is going to mold you in such a way you can think you can think and you can just predict the market in such a way the initiative buyers and the initiative sellers do okay so apart from the capital required apart from capital required okay the thought what we have will be ahead of the responsive buyer okay so right now you may be a responsive buyer or responsive seller but once this, once you complete the session you will be in position to think in such a way how the initiative buyers and initiative sellers place their trade setups okay so you can just take a look at this the initiative buyers buy set a cheaper price and sell set expensive price okay whereas we the responsive buyers will be buying at the expensive price okay if, if it is worth only 100 rupees we will be in position to give 103 rupees to buy that particular stock whereas uh, we will be selling at a cheaper price okay and that cheaper price uh, it is the so who's buying against us so the initiative buyers will be against us okay so we'll be selling over there and they'll be buying it at a cheaper price okay so uh, the next very important thing okay so uh, these two things the price range and the time period okay so this is what you need to understand okay this is what you need to understand okay so uh, let me just read this for you uh, the initiative buyers or the initiative sellers they buy or sell in a price range they buy or sell in a price range okay not at a not at a price point like 100 hence their orders are in huge quantity okay let me just ask you a question you you are going to place an order um, say like uh, ashok leyland so it is going to be trading at 100 rupees okay so you you have a thought you have a thought that uh, you're going to buy that particular stock at uh, 100 rupees and your quantity will be somewhere like uh, a thousand quantities say like thousand quantities you're going to buy okay so uh, now your investment will be one lakh rupees okay now you place an order of thousand quantity at 100 rupees definitely your order will be executed definitely your order will be executed whereas in the case of institution whereas in the case of institutions they place orders in lakhs okay they can buy 1 lakh shares okay they can buy 1 lakh shares they can they can buy 10 lakh shares okay is it possible to get the entire order to be filled at 100 definitely not okay at 100 there should be 1 lakh buyers and 1 lakh sellers in order to complete that order but that is not possible so because of that always the institutions place their orders in a price range okay so th that will be the price range between 100 to 102 okay so whenever the price is trading within the range of 100 to 102 they will be they will be buying all the quantities okay they will be buying all the quantities okay so uh, this is the first point and what about the second point for re-entry they will wait until the price come back to the same price range where they have entered earlier okay so i can just show show you an example so that you can understand it in a proper way okay this is state bank of india the state bank of india so in the year 2013 there was a demand zone so there was a demand zone which was ranging at a, uh, it's almost like 10 percentage okay so 16.85 uh, 85 points which is nothing but 10 percentage of move what happened in the year uh, 2014 once again the price came back so one year uh, in the in a one year period the price once again came back to the same level and they placed their order 
and uh, they buy in the same price range okay they, they buy it in a price range of 10 percentage once again the price went to the level of 320 from there it starts to fall and reach the same level in the year 2016 and once again in the year 2020 we got the same level and from there everything is history so it has reached almost like 420 so which is something very big right from 160 to 420 so it's something a very big number okay so um, now i i think uh, it just gives you a better understanding the first point they buy in a price range they buy or sell okay they, they do both the cases right so they, they buy or sell in a price range and second thing is they make the re-entry only when they only it comes back to the same level okay they just buy once again whenever it comes back to the same level okay so this is what you need to understand about the initiative buyers and sellers uh, criteria so okay, these are the two criteria they do follow okay so now let me just uh, move to the price action trading okay so this is this is all about the initiative buyers initiative sellers responsive buyers and the responsive sellers okay so now let me just ask you a question who are the initiative buyers and sellers you can just uh, post it uh, you can just type it in the chat box meanwhile i have some water Okay, I'm getting good good answers. Exactly. Mutual funds, bank insurance companies, if FAA, DAA, mutual funds. Exactly. So I'm I'm really happy like I'm getting too many answers. Okay, so uh, this is this is what is very important. Okay. Now I will teach you. Now I will teach you how to buy at a very cheaper price i will teach you how to buy at a very cheaper price and how to sell at an expensive price okay so this is this is, so this sentence is going to be the the main motto of this uh, program which we are conducting in novus h okay so this is the very important motto okay so um, now let me just move to price action trading okay so uh, it's a one strategy okay so it's a one strategy and uh, any exchange it's not only for the Indian market like uh, Indian stock exchange okay so globally globally any exchange if you're going to go uh, go out say uh, abroad or something like that so if you're going to trade uh, trade over there so definitely you can use the same strategy in any market scenarios okay so you can use any time frame starting from one minute to monthly time frame you can use any time frame this strategy is going to remain the same if, if you're going to do an intraday or swing or investing anything it can be this strategy is going to be the same what are maybe the components okay the, the stocks commodities forex or future and options this is going to be same okay so there, there is no change in it okay so because we are going to understand the concept of supply and demand okay we are going to understand the concept of supply and demand okay so types of candle um, actually we have discussed it in the yesterday session also but uh, still uh, there were lots of questions which was um, after, after the market uh, sorry after the session is completed so i received lots and lots of questions about this uh, two candle types okay so because of that i just made it more simplified okay so i have added another like uh, 15 to 20 slides i, I think okay in order to uh, make it quite clear and understandable i just worked out and the uh, throughout the day and then uh, try to make it more simple as uh, as, I, as i never done before okay so uh, let me just start it from the beginning okay so uh, there are two types of candles okay so the first thing is 
whichever may be the candle okay so uh, you, you say any um, any one minute or three minutes candle so that will come under only two case either it will be an equilibrium candle or it will be an imbalance candle okay so these are the two candle formats which we are going to use in the entire session okay the one is the equilibrium candle the other one is the imbalance candle okay now let me understand uh, a two important terminology which is the body range and the candle range okay what is the body range the body range is nothing but it is the difference between the open to close price it is difference between the open to close price and what about uh, the candle range the candle range is nothing but the difference between low to high that's it the difference between low to high now let me just understand more about the equilibrium candle okay the equilibrium candle it clearly uh, indicates that there, there is a transaction which is happening okay so there is only a transaction which is happening okay and uh, in that particular candle the buyers and sellers are are equal okay the buyers and sellers are equal okay so um, let me just uh, make it more clear so in in a, if a particular candle is uh, is it's supposed to be an e candle okay here the body range okay the body range what is the body range the body range will be the difference between open to close okay so the open to close difference is there right so it will be less than less than or equal to 50 percentage of the candle range okay so what is the candle range the candle range is the difference between low to high if it is like 10 rupees 50 percentage of it is 5 rupees okay the, the difference is 5 rupees so the body range is less than or equal to the 50 percent of the candle range means if the body range is 2 rupees and the 50 percentage of the candle range is 5 rupees then 2 rupees is less than 5 rupees right so then we call the particular candle as an e candle okay so don't worry i'm not going to make it more complex okay in the upcoming slides you will understand it in a very clear way okay so i'll just uh, move to that slide okay now i think uh, you'll be in position to understand it in a clear way okay so this is the uh, body range which is the difference between open to close say like uh, the open is 95 and the close is 100 so the points difference is 50 so the points difference is 5 whereas the candle range is the difference between low to high or high to low so the points is 30 points is the difference on 30 points what is the 50 percentage the 50 percentage is 15 points okay so now we have the 15 points in on one side and five points in the other side okay okay now if you see uh, let me just uh, consider e candle the e candle the body range is less than or equal to 50 percentage of the candle range so which clearly indicates that five points is less than 15 points okay so this candle satisfies the criteria to be an e candle okay it satisfies the criteria to be an e candle okay so now i think uh, you you have uh, you are in position to understand it okay so next i will just uh, speak about the imbalance candle okay in the imbalance candle as the name defines there will be a, a imbalance between the buyers and sellers okay the buyers will be having uh, one lakh quantities and sellers will be only fifty thousand quantities okay and vice versa the sellers will be at one lakh quantities and the buyers will be at fifty thousand rupees so uh, fifty thousand so it means that there is an imbalance between the buyers and sellers okay so if if such a case is happening then the prices either shoots up or it will be going down okay so if if if, uh, if the buyers are quite high then definitely it will be uh, it, it, it will be moving up if the sellers are more then it will be going down okay so uh, now let me understand uh, how to identify the ib candle okay so in this example we find the body range uh, is 95 to 1 uh, the body range is 90 the difference between 95 to 115 so which is 20 points whereas the candle range um, it is 30 points and 50 percentage out of it is 15 points so it clearly indicates that 20 is greater than 15 which means that 
the body range is greater than 50 percentage of the candle range okay now we can say this candle as an ib candle this candle as an ib candle okay okay so let me just uh, explain you one important thing once again the equilibrium candle is just a transaction candle where the buyers and sellers are equal okay whereas the imbalance candle there is an imbalance between the buyers and sellers thus the price moves in the either way okay so we can see either an up move or a down move okay so let me just uh, try to get some answers from you guys okay so uh, you can just type whether the first candle is an ib candle or an e candle and the second one and the third one so you can just put like a uh, one uh, one is ib candle uh, in two is an ib candle three is an e ib candle so you can just type like that and uh, you can just post it okay I'm just getting good answers that's good that's good definitely good okay right okay now this one Okay, that's really good. And what about this? okay so this one okay i think it's done i think okay so i just got some good answer from you guys so uh, almost uh, everyone said it in a proper way okay so i can just one second say so if you find here in the first example okay the open to close is quite big right so it is more than 50 percentage of the candle range i'm sure about it so i call this as an ib candle and uh, this one if i see the open to close definitely it is less than 50 percentage only so this is an e candle okay so here the open to close the body range is the body range is greater than 50 percentage of the candle range so this is an ib candle whereas here this full bar uh, green candle it's it clearly says that this candle is an ib candle and what about the small one so this is an e candle and this is also an e candle okay so the first one is ib candle and this smaller one is e candle and this one is e candle okay which means the equilibrium candle okay and um, see like uh, the one thing we need to understand is the red color the ib candle the red color ib candle indicates that so the the sellers are dominating it okay whereas the same if it is like green color uh, ib candle it means that the buyers are dominating it okay whereas if it is an e candle if it is an e candle either it can be in red color or green color okay it does not matters okay it does not matters why because that is totally uh, it don't give any sort of uh, what to say like a, uh no trade you can't take any sort of decision okay so it does not means if it is green color the bull have won it if it is like red color it does not means the bear have won it okay so whenever it is an e candle it is just a transaction candle it is just a transaction candle okay so now let me understand how to find the 
zones which means that which is the cheap price and which is the expensive price okay so there was a question earlier so how to find the cheap price okay so you will be able to understand how to find the cheap price in in another uh, 10 to 15 slides okay so uh, be concentrated okay so uh, now there are two conditions okay in order to uh, in order to uh, um, understand a particular uh, um, a particular zone okay in order to understand the zone formations we have like two conditions okay the first condition is uh, there should be an ib candle and uh, one e candle and one ib candle okay so this co three combination okay this three combination will which which will result in a zone formation which will result in a zone formation so this is the first thing and what about the second thing so, so the similarly like the next part is there can be one ib candle and followed by two e candles and followed by another ib candle okay so now in this case we have four candles right in this case we have four candles whereas in the upcoming in the third slide if we find here we have one ib candle and three e candles one ib candle and three e candles and followed by an ib candle okay so this is the condition one okay the condition one one clearly indicates that there should be one ib candle in the first and one ib candle in the last okay in the middle you can have one e candle or two e candle or three e candle not more than that okay there should be there should not be more than three e candles okay so we just uh, don't uh, take four or five e candles or six e candles we don't take so until three that is fine okay beyond three number of e candles so it is not going to be a, a right uh, zone okay now let me understand how the reversal by zone formation happens how the reversal by zone formation happens so in this first case in the first case if you see there is an ib candle followed by an e candle and followed by an ib candle okay so what i say in the in the past slides I, I i said one very important word which means that the ib candle the ib candle clearly indicates the ib candle clearly indicates that someone is dominating whereas the e candle is some something where the transaction is happening okay ib candle so i just request you guys to either type it or you can just repeat yourself okay so the ib candle is a it, it just gives you an identification that who has who has been the dominating one whether the buyers are dominating it or the sellers are dominating it okay so this is the first thing you need to understand about the ib candle whereas what about the e candles what about e candle the e candles are just transaction candles the e candles are just transaction candles so it, it does not gives you any sort of uh, how to say like it, it never gives you any sort of uh, identify um, conclusion that buyers have won it or the sellers have won it okay so it does not give you any sort of confirmations whereas the imbalance uh, candles give you a confirmation that who has won it whether it's a bull or the beer okay so in the reversal uh, by zone formations if you, I, I can just explain you the first case okay so in the first case if you see uh, the first ib candle is a red color candle so what it indicates so the particular stock is um it is uh, under uh, they the sellers have undertaken the particular stock okay so the sellers are dominating over here in the first case okay whereas whenever it comes so the second candle is that e candle the second candle is an e candle where the transaction happens the second candle is an e candle where the transaction happens okay and uh, what about the third candle the third candle is an e candle uh, so it's an ib candle which clearly indicates that it is in gr green color so which indicates that the bull are dominating it okay the buyers are dominating it okay so this gives you a story line up so this give you this give you a, a story line up clearly saying that so there was the sellers the sellers was dominating it and 
there was an e candle so some some sort of transaction has happened over here some sort of transaction has happened over here and immediately and immediately the buyers have taken control over the particular script the buyers have taken control over the particular script so what it clearly indicates what it clearly indicates so the sellers was dominating and there there went a some sort of transaction was happening once the transaction is completed the price starts to rally up okay so what it clearly says what what it clearly says so someone who has placed a very huge quantity over here so someone have purchased so someone has made a very huge transaction so that the price starts to move up okay so i prefer i just want to say there is some sort of institutional activity has happened over here okay the institutions might have thought the institutions might have thought this the e candle lay the e candle range okay the e candle range where they 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 would have thought that this is the cheapest price this is the cheapest price so they start to accumulate at a cheaper price okay what i said earlier the initiative buyers they buy at a very cheaper price okay they buy at a very cheaper price okay now what happens now let me just consider uh, the second case where we have two e candles where we have two e candles and here the time period the time period it has spent over here the time period it has spent over here is quite higher when compared to the first uh, first uh, first entry okay and uh, whenever the there is a three e candles it means that it has spent more time over here it has spent more time over here okay so why i'm speaking about the time spent in this particular region okay so what i believe is what i believe is so the much the time it spends over here much the time it spends over here it clearly indicates that it clearly indicates that the the orders okay the orders would have been fulfilled to a greater extent okay see like a one lakh quantities they need to purchase if it is only one e candle then the time spent over there is very less okay so uh, i can i can just define that uh, uh, it can be something like a, how to say like 50000 quantities might be get, got filled whereas in two e candles are there it, it might be like 75000 uh, 75000 quantities would have been fulfilled and whereas in three uh, three e candles 90000 uh, 90000 or even the 1 lakh quantities might have been uh, consumed in this particular region okay so it is uh, it is suggested that the high probability is over there in the first uh, type like uh, if you have like a one one e candle or two e candle that is fine but three is also okay okay but but as you see it is okay okay so um, now let me just move to the continuation by zone formations okay so right now we have seen the reversal where there was the the, the price was uh, first dominated by the bears and then there was a pass period and then there was a then the bull taken over the position okay so here already the position is under the control of bull okay already the position is under the control of bull because it is the first the first candle is a green ib candle and followed by a red candle uh, followed by a red candle or uh, so it can be a e candle okay so it's, it's not like a red candle it's a e candle so e candle generally indicates what it, it it indicates a transaction okay so there was a transaction so there was a transaction which was happening and after that the transaction has finished once again the bull has taken over the once once again the bulls have taken over the rally okay so this clearly indicates that this clearly indicates that so some some sort of buying activity has been carried in the e candle some sort of active buying has been happening in the e candle okay and similarly if we have one e candle two e candle and three ca three e candles so once it starts to increase the number of e candles it starts to increase it clearly indicates that the time period which has which the particular stock has spent in that particular region is high so because of that there is a probability that the orders would have been got filled earlier okay so let me just come back 
so there was one question whether we will take the entry in the first uh, in the uh, in the e candle which is uh, in green color so the ib candle which is a green color no don't worry i'll be speaking more about the entry the time frames and other things okay so you just wait wait for a few more minutes so that you can understand it in a very clear way i think the time uh, the time the time frame will be covered by tomorrow because um, uh, it will take another uh, uh, almost like 10 or 20 minutes more in order if i'm just covering the time period uh, the, the time frame for uh, different trade setups because we use uh, one time frame for intraday one time frame for swing one time frame for positional and option strategies we do like a multiple time frame analysis so we, we need to speak more about the time frame okay so if i'm if i'm just trying to uh, uh, load lots of things on your head so definitely it is not going to be uh, it, it is not going to work out okay so because this is the very important concept you need to understand okay because the market to my feel okay to my feel i believe this is this is this is this is a content which which really satisfied me in the past 5 years okay so uh, definitely uh, uh, I, i have done lots of uh, trade methods with the help of uh, uh, with the help of uh, what is this um, indicators and uh, moving average i have done lots of analysis but at the end one thing was very pretty okay so uh, it is nothing but each and every time each and every time i need to modify myself each and every time i need to modify myself so uh, it it is going to be something uh, um, very hard for me okay so uh, location no it is not like rally based rally uh, so the concept will be quite different okay so uh, once you move into the next slides you will feel the difference between uh, what's the, the the content the general uh, supply and demand strategies like rally based rally drop based drop so it, it is not going to be in such way okay so it it'll be totally different so uh, you will understand and one important thing i want to say you is you will understand why you take a particular trade okay once you understand this concept you will be in position that you can say why you have taken this trade okay that's very important right okay so um, let me just go back and uh, say about the reversal sell zone formations okay so uh, yeah manoj actually what's the problem is uh, uh, now itself it is it is bit hard for me to speak because i'm uh, uh, it it is not the nature way how i speak because i, I used to speak very very slowly so uh, definitely it is just not my uh, um my nature to speak quite hard okay so uh, even I, if i'm just trying to scold i'll be quite calm on that okay so uh, yeah exactly okay so uh, they call it as base candle so uh, the concept is quite different so you'll understand the upcoming slides don't worry okay so this is the reversal sell zone formations here uh, we have like a, the one e candle two e candle and three key candles so they can form a sell zone okay so uh, now what's the difference between a buy zone and sell zone if you see here the the candle which comes out of the zone the candle which comes out of the zone is in what color it is in green color and it is an up, upward move okay so whenever there is an upward move then we call, then the zone formation is an buy zone okay or a demand zone whereas in the case of uh, sell zone the candle which comes out of the zone which is the, the ib candle will be a red zone uh, will be a red candle which indicates that which indicates that that is a supply zone okay what is a supply zone what is a demand zone a demand zone is nothing but a demand zone is nothing but where the retailers where the retailers okay where the retailers get um sorry uh, where the where the institutions feel that this price is a very cheap price so we can buy it at this level okay so that is the demand zone so what about the supply zone the supply zone is nothing but that is the expensive price that is the expensive price what the what the institution players think that okay so i, I feel uh, if i if, if a particular stock is trading at 100 uh, the institution might think that 105 will be the will be expensive price so what they will do the initiative buyers will sell at expensive price or they buy at expensive price exactly they will be buying at 
will buying at cheap price and selling at an expensive price okay in supply zone what they do they will be selling it in supply zone they will be selling it okay so um, now the reversal sell zone formations if you find here the first e candle second e candle third e candle okay so so we have one e candle two e candle three e candles so as the number of e candles increases the time spent on the particular zone is high so there is a probability that orders would have been fulfilled okay so if the institution required is requirement is 10 lakh quantities then there is a chance that uh, a out of 10 lakh quantities 5 lakh quantities would have been consumed if it is if there is only one candle if there is two candles there is a chance of 7.5 lakh quantities would have been sold off or uh, if it is like three candles there is a probability that 90000 quantities would have been sold off okay so um, it is it, it is like uh, how to say uh, it, it is always suggested to take it on the one or two okay not go more than that so uh, but three is something okay okay so uh, next this is a continuation pattern so in the continuation pattern there is a there is a first the sellers are dominating it and once again there is a pass and once again the sellers has taken care okay so what what this green uh, what is this red color candle which is an e candle in, indicates it indicates a transaction okay so some sort of transaction happened and once again the seller starts to dominate okay so this is the continuation sell zone formations okay altogether how many zone formations we have seen we have seen four zone formations the first one is the reversal buy zone formation the second one is the continuation buy zone formation and the third one is the reversal sell zone formation and then the continuation sell zone formation okay so altogether we have four zone formation techniques okay now let me come into the second condition okay so this is the most important thing and this validate the points this is the most important thing and this validates the point okay so uh, you guys you you guys are going to be um uh we just concentrate on this particular slide because this gives you some some more um understanding why you need why you need to take a trade and uh, it, it is just an odd enhancement okay it, so I, I just made this as an odd okay so now in this case if you see uh, the buy zone formations the uh, the two candles the two candles immediately following the ib candle okay immediately following the ib candle which just came out of the zone okay so that should make a new highs okay it should form new highs okay so which is the candle so this green color candle this green color candle is the ib candle which came out of the zone okay the immediate two candles the next two candles should form new highs should form new highs so that is the very important thing we need to add as an odd enhancement okay if you see here so this is the first high and this is the second high this is the first high and this is the second high okay and another important thing the second the the two candles which is next to the ib candle it can be an e candle or an ib candle it is not mandated to, it should be an ib candle or it is not mandated to be an e candle okay it can be either an e candle or an ib candle but what's the criteria or what's the criteria it should it should ha it should form two consecutive highs it should form two consecutive highs so that's that's the more important thing that's a more important thing okay so now let's be uh, let me just go to the cell zone so what is the odd enhancement for cell zone okay so we know so this is this is a reversal trade setup so we have a, a, a red color ib candle a red color ib candle. we have to have a red color ib ib candle and um, now if you see it it should form see like the buy zone has formed two new highs but what about the sell zone the, the sell zone need to have two new lows okay the consecutive candle of the ib candle the consecutive two candles of the ib candle should form two consecutive lows or two new lows okay and that two candles can be an e candle or an ib candle it, it does not matters okay it can be an e candle or an ib candle it does not matters okay so this is a second condition okay this is a second condition okay so let, let, let me just take you guys once again uh, from the beginning so that uh, it will be quite easy for you to uh, 
recap things okay so you just don't think that i'm repeating once again okay but uh, definitely uh, definitely it is going to be uh, once i just start to revise you can now take take everything um, to a clear view okay so let me just take some waters hmm. Okay, so uh, those who are watching my video for the first time, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so you're going to get a lot more valuable contents in the upcoming days. Okay, so this session is going to be almost like 30 to 40 days. Okay, so definitely it will, it will take almost like 30 to 40 days to complete the session. By end of the session, you will be in position to uh, address all sort of market scenarios. Okay, you'll be in position to address all sort of market scenarios. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure about it okay so uh, definitely it will be very easy uh, very useful for you guys uh, to, uh, to to cope up with the any sort of market scenarios okay so th those who are not like this video yet you can just hit the like button if you like this content okay and uh, those who are not subscribed yet you can just click on the subscribe button Okay. Yeah, my telegram channel is novice hedge. You can just type novice hedge. So you can just find the telegram channel. Okay, at what time? See, the, the, the timing will be the same. So 9.15 to 10 or 10.15 or 10.30. So that will be our standard time. So 9.15 will be our standard timing. Okay, so let me, let me just start the zone formation components. So for a zone to be formed, so we have two condition. The first condition uh, is it should have one IB candle and uh, one or two or three E candles and it should have another IB candle. So this is the uh, three candles which is required to form a particular zone okay so the e candles can be one or two or three okay it, it, it does not matters okay so beyond three it is not suggested okay and one and two has the higher probability third one is okay so next one is so we have like four uh, four zone formations we have four zone formations okay so uh, here um, First, first, the first one is the reversal by zone formation. So, as we defined, that IB candle clearly indicates that that particular candle uh, is dominated by a uh, sellers. Okay, whereas the green color IB candle clearly indicates that it is dominated by the buyers. Okay, whereas, whereas in this case of E candle, it is an indecisive candle. So, only transaction happens over there. Only transaction happens over there so th that's that's a very important thing so it can be green color or red color the, for an e candle it does not matters because it is just it is just an candle okay and it is indecisive and it is totally indecisive okay so um, so this is the reversal by the formation so if you see there was a domination of the sellers and there was a past period where the e candle came into picture and once again there was a uh, then the bull taken uh, taken over the position so what happened in this region so there was some sort of huge buying which has which would have happened so who who's the person who's responsible for it so institutions is the person who's responsible for it okay who is responsible for it okay in this case what happens the in, the institutions find this price range as a cheaper price so they have bought it in a very huge quantity and once again if it is like two e candles okay the first e candle see like uh, the institution want to take over almost like one lakh quantities okay out of one lakh quantities if it is like one e candle then the probability is somewhere like uh, um, a 50 percentage of the of the one lakh quantities we say like 50000 quantities would have been bought whereas if we have two e candles the time spent over here is high right so it has a probability that uh, the orders would have been filled Okay, so almost like 75%, which means like 75,000 quantities has been filled. Whereas in three, it is like 90% have been filled, but we can uh, predict that market can reverse back from that region. 
okay and similarly we have continuation so in the case of reversal it just trends up and then passes for a while and then comes down okay so it's like a reversal whereas in the case of continuation it's it's it, the price is already dropping and it passed for a period and then continues to drop okay which means like th there is a continuation pattern okay so this is a continuation sell zone formation and continuation buy zone formation is there reversal sell zone is there reversal buy zone is there okay altogether there are four altogether there are four okay now let me just go to the condition number two in the condition number two the uh, the the ib candle which comes out of the zone right so you, you know that the ib candle which is comes out of the zone the immediate the immediate two candles the immediate two candles to the ib candle should form two consecutive highs should form two consecutive highs it can be it can be an e candle or an ib candle it is not mandatory to be an e candle or an ib candle the, the second and th the the two consecutive candles can be an e candle or an i can uh, or an uh, ib candle but what's the important thing for a buy zone it should form two new highs whereas whereas in the case of sell zone whereas in the case of sell zone it should form two consecutive lows okay whereas in the case of buy zone two consecutive highs whereas in the case of sell zone it should be two consecutive lows that's it okay i think uh, i have just covered i have just covered the both the buy zones and the sell zones okay so the condition one and two both are covered okay so uh, now let me just see how a buy zone looks uh, look at okay so if you see what's the first what's the first criteria what's the, what's the first criteria we say there should be an ib candle and followed by two consecutive e uh, uh, there, there, should, there should be another e candle and followed by an another ib candle okay so which clearly indicates that which clearly indicates us this is the first condition so what is the second condition the consecutive candle so the the candle which is next to the ib candle which comes out of the zone should have should have two consecutive uh, should form two consecutive highs whereas it can be an ib candle or an e candle so in this case i think uh, it looks like a, it's an ib candle okay so what i do um, i just make it i can just make a change for it so it can be like this also or it can be like this also okay so it, it does not matters okay it does not matters that it can be on the either case okay it can it can be a e candle or an ib candle but what's the criteria it should form two new highs see it forms a new high and the other one also forms a new high this is a reversal pattern and this is a continuation pattern in the continuation pattern you can see clearly there was a buy dominating and there was a pass period and there was a pass period and there was an another ib candle which 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 makes the first which makes the first condition what's the second condition you should form two consecutive highs it should form two consecutive highs so this is this is for the buy zone formation whereas in the sell zone whereas in the sell zone it should form um it, it should form like two consecutive lows whereas in the case of the two con uh, the the candles which is uh, next to the ib candle which comes out of the zone okay so uh, i think it is it is much clear um definitely i, I believe i just uh, made it quite easy so don't worry once we see in a live environment definitely that will be very easy for you to understand okay once you see, see this in live environment i i just have the um, the live slides examples also so you'll be in position to uh, watch all the trade setups which which have been triggered today or yesterday okay so uh, so i just added it okay so don't worry it will be quite easy for you guys to understand it okay so uh, those who do not understand to try try to watch the videos which have i already uploaded in uh, our youtube channel okay so let me just bring it for you okay so if you guys need to understand more about it uh, you can just go to the playlist and in, uh, in the novel sage youtube channel you can just go to the playlist and uh, in playlist you can find secret behind your stop loss okay if you select the secret behind your stop loss there are almost like uh, 10 videos okay so 10 videos uh, it's it covers almost like 15 hours of content okay it covers 
15 hours of content so uh, definitely if you're, if you're watching this video it is going to be something very uh, useful for you so uh, it, it will give you a very clear understanding about the zone formations i think the part one part two part three will give you a very clear understanding about it okay and uh, i suggest you to look at another video which is zone form how to draw a zone okay this one this video okay how to mark a zone okay if you if you watch this video i have given a very uh, a very in-depth knowledge about the zone marking techniques okay so uh, it it's almost like one half 53 minutes okay so it's a uh, quite big i think i think so so uh, definitely you can just watch this video so it will give you a very clear understanding how to draw a zone okay so those who are not yet subscribed to our youtube channel you do subscribe to the youtube channel so that uh, you'll be keep keep uh, you'll be posted uh, you'll keep posted about the upcoming videos okay so uh, let me just come back until one hour it is fine so uh, after that it is very hard for me to speak out okay okay so let me just move to the presentation once again okay so the reversal by zone formations okay so the, the reversal by zone formations so in this case in this case um let me just put it in this way just a moment i just make it quite easy for you to understand I just try to remove something so it will be quite easy for you to understand it Just give me a moment. I'm just removing a few things so that it will be quite easy for you to understand. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, the reversal by zone formations. Okay, so now uh, the first one is there is a red dominance with the high B candle, and uh, there was two E candles, so there was a pass period, and once again the bull has taken over the control. And now we see there is a two consecutive highs has been formed two consecutive highs have been formed and it clearly says that this is a buy zone so here is the buy zone okay so within the price range okay so how why we define this is the price range why we define this is a price range okay so in the early slide in the early slide i just said one word the institutions will always buy the institutions will always buy at a price range the institutions will always buy at a price range okay so th that's very important okay now see what happens the price reverse back to the same zone the price reverse back to the same zone okay what's the second point i said what's the second point i said okay i said clearly that the in this area in this area they will be placing their re-entry okay they'll be placing the re-entry they will wait for a long time it can be a year also or two years or three years also but they knew that this price is a very cheap price this price is a very cheap price exactly Lashman. so uh, it is the cheapest price okay because the institutions loves to take trade only at the level where they feel that it is a it is very cheap okay and where they do sell they sell at an expensive price it's a little expensive price okay now let me see an example okay in this case if you see the first uh, the red candle the first red candle over here it clearly says that it clearly says that the beer the beer has taken the control and fortunately what happened the next two candles are e candles the next two candles are e candles which indicates that there is a pass in the period which indicates that there is a pass in the period and once again and once again what happened the price starts to rally once again the price starts to rally which gives us the an imbalance candle which gives us an imbalance candle and followed by two consecutive highs and followed by two consecutive highs okay and then what happened the price went back so will we take the entries so will we take the entries 
no we don't take the entry at the second candle okay on the second consecutive candle we don't take the entry we will wait until the price come back to the same level we will wait until the price come back to the same level so we will place the order at this point okay we place the order at this point and we will be taking the buy entry over here and we maintain the stop loss at the bottom okay so these things i have discussed in that video uh, how to draw zones okay so we'll be discussing in today's session also so how to draw zones and uh, all those things we'll be discussing in this today's session itself okay so this is how we will take the entry okay so once uh, the reversal buy zone actions right so uh, once the price comes back to the same level during this time only we will take the trade during this time only we will take the trade okay now let me just understand about the continuation buy zone action okay in the continuation buy zone action if you see here the bull are dominating and there was a pass and there was once again a bull movement okay so this this forms a zone okay so this zone has how many e candles only one e candle it has only one e candle okay now the next two candles to the ib candle okay they they just form two consecutive highs they do form two consecutive highs so this clearly indicates that this is a zone okay okay i just forgot to say this one why two consecutive highs why two consecutive highs it is not possible for you and me okay it is not possible for you and me to take a to, to make a particular uh, stock to move consecutively in a higher one or consecutively in a lower one okay so it is the presence of the institution it is the presence of the institutions okay so there is a saying that uh, the history repeats every time in the market the history repeats every time in the market so that is what the example what we have seen in the seen in state bank of india okay that's an example which the state bank of india has given us okay so the history always repeats okay in, in similar way so once there was a history that price already there was an imbalance between the buyers and seller which resulted in an imbalance scandal okay and uh, there is a probability that the orders would have been not filled up so almost like 10 lakh quantities are there okay 10 lakh quantities are there in this particular range okay and the price moves uh, so uh, out of that five lakh quantities got got uh, it has been bought in this particular uh, e candle and the price moved up and once again when the price comes back to the same level the remaining five lakh quantities five thousand uh, sorry five lakh okay five, yeah the remaining five lakh quantities would have been consumed over here and the price starts to move upside okay so this is the continuation pattern example so another example we do have here so this is today's i think to today's pattern so it, it has happened in adani entertainment okay so uh, if you see this is a the green color candle is an ib candle and followed by three consecutive e candles okay it's a three consecutive e candles and another ib candle okay and another ib candle but uh, i do think i have done a mistake over here i do yeah so no i, I think this is the second slide i need to delete it so you just ignore it okay the reversal sell zone for sell zone action the reversal sell zone action it is similar so i think uh, now you guys can understand it in a clear way if you see here the first green color candle is an ib candle and followed by and followed by e candle and then and then what happens there is a drop in price which which clearly says that it is an ib candle so the first condition is satisfied what about the second condition two consecutive lows but in this case what we have one two three four five so we have five consecutive lows we have five consecutive lows so once again the price come back to the same level it just had a kiss over there and from there it starts to fall and from there it starts to fall okay so uh, ranjit so we will be speaking about the stock selection so there are lots more so we are on the first day okay so this is the first day of the session so we have another 30 to 40 days to complete this entire course program okay so uh, you can just uh, uh, you can definitely hold for a while okay so we'll be discussing about the time frames so i'm sure that we'll be speaking more about the time frame on tomorrow only because it is hard for me to speak more than one and a half hours okay so it, it's literally hard for me 
okay so next uh, the continuation cell zone action okay so if we see here um, so there was a first red candle which is just dominating and there was a pass in period so where we had uh, two e candles and followed by another ib candle and uh, one two three four five six seven eight see we here we have eight consecutive lows first low second low third four five six seven eight so eight consecutive low is it possible for you and me to make it eight consecutive lows it is possible for you and me to make it damn sure no damn sure no okay so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you and me can't make consecutive eight lows so it is an institutional activity it is an institutional activity so what you have what you can see here the price came back to the same level so here is where we sell it so here is where we will sell it so once we sell over here the price starts to move down 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 okay the price starts to move down 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 see like it's it's just moved from 108 i think so one sorry oh, 1045 1045 2000 it's almost like 45 points of move it's almost like 45 points of move it's something very big right and what's the stop loss see the stop loss is only 3 rupees 95 paise okay on a script on a script which is trading at almost like 1050 rupees the stop loss we maintain is only 3 rupees 95 paise okay it's only 3 rupees 95 paise okay it's, it's something crazy right something crazy right okay see like uh, and the price moved okay so it's almost like 50 points of move which means that 1 is to 50, 1 is to 10 risk reward it is almost 1 is to 10 risk reward okay see regarding the time frame we'll be discussing tomorrow only don't worry guys okay so uh, because it's quite hard for me to speak okay so uh, now i just feel tired okay so um, now we'll be moving on to the zone components okay so the zone components we do have the entry line the stop loss line the entry line and the stop loss line okay so all together like uh, for buy zones we have the entry stop loss for sell zone we do have the entry stop loss so what's the difference okay here the entry line the for sell zone the entry line will be at the bottom and the stop loss will be above whereas for buy zone the entry line will be above and the stop loss will be below okay so this is the main difference between uh, the buy zone and the sell zone okay so to, you just don't think that why did he speaking more about this lines okay okay so in anyhow it's, it's my duty to say it right it's because i just made it in presentation it just it, it give me happiness if i just tell something about the entry line and stop loss okay I, i'm pretty sure that you guys uh, you guys know this very well okay so what could you okay so we do use two methods okay we do use two methods the one is uh, the body to wick method and the other one is uh, wick to wick method okay the one first one is body to wick method and the second one is wick to wick method okay so after that my presentation is done okay and uh, what will be the what will be the risk reward ratio we maintain what will be the risk reward ratio we'll be maintaining for uh, uh, for this supply and demand okay so definitely we'll be using one is to two okay so nothing below one is to two if you're taking a risk of one rupee always your sh target should be either two or more than that okay your target should be more than one is to two okay your target should be more than one is to two okay so if you, if you see here uh, the first method is body to week method here i just take the two e candles here i just take the two e candles okay it's, it's two e candles here if you see here if you see i just keep the keep the entry by entry i just keep the buy entry on the top of the body okay see i, I just taken this two e candles okay i just taken this two e candle which is having the highest body which is having the highest body 
which is having the highest body the red candle has the highest body okay so i keep the entry line above the above the body's high okay i just keep it at the body's high okay and uh, what's the stop loss the stop the stop loss will be the wick low i just take the two candles in the two e candles which candle has the lowest wick the first candle has the lowest wick so i place the stop loss below the below the wick okay i just place the stop loss below the wick now this is the risk what we take so this is a risk so if the risk is 1 rupee the risk is 1 rupee the reward should be at least the reward should be at least 1 is to 2 which means that it should be 2 rupees or more than that it should be 2 rupees or more than that okay now what's the second method the second method is nothing but wick to wick method the second method is wick to wick method here it is quite simple here it is quite simple okay so uh, in in this case in this case you just take both the candles compare which is having the highest wick and which is having the lowest wick okay which is having the highest wick and which is having the lowest wick so this is what you need to take okay so i see the first candle has the highest wick as well as the lowest wick so i just mark the entry at the highest wick and the stop loss at the lowest wick okay so this gives you a clear understanding that uh, the wick to wick method the stop loss is quite big the stop loss is quite big when compared to the method one body to wick method okay so uh, i i just suggest to go with the method one okay in some in in indian market scenario and if you are going to trade in uh, foreign exchanges like uh, if you're going to uh, trade in forex then definitely uh, i suggest you to take wick to wick method okay so tomorrow we'll be discussing how to draw the entry stop loss and target for uh, all the trade setups so definitely that will give you a very clear understanding of uh, how a particular zone is formed okay so uh, so tomorrow's event you just don't miss it so uh, it will be it is going to be something uh, very interesting because we will be drawing the zones and uh, that will give you a clear understanding about the um the supply and demand strategies okay so uh, there are two methods the method one is body to wick method and the method two is wick to wick method okay so uh, i think i'm just closing the session for today okay so because i don't think if i'm just speaking more than, uh, if i'm taking more time so it is not going to work out okay so those who are not subscribed to our youtube channel please do subscribe and uh, if you like this content please hit the like button okay so definitely it'll be i'll be happy to uh, see it uh, because uh, there are lots and lots of works which is going on behind uh, the presentation what we do okay so uh, definitely um, those who not hit subscribe please do subscribe and another important thing you can just uh, share it with your friends okay so your trading uh, trading colleagues or office mates who are doing uh, trading as a part time or investing okay so definitely this video series is going to be something very useful for each and every novices who is watching this video as well as in india as well as throughout the globe okay hence this method what whatever we are going to discuss uh, in this video series it is not only for indian market it is going to be for the entire market like uh, it can be on any exchange okay so you can be trading from us you can be trading in uh, in uh, uk or the european market anything it can be this strategy is going to be remains the same okay so uh, i just uh, thank you guys for watching this video almost 321 people are watching this video in live so uh, i'm really thankful for you guys uh, for joining this session and uh, if you like this video click on the like button and if you believe this content is something very interesting you can just share with your friends and um, that's it so I'm, I'm i'm totally tired right now okay so you can be a part of my telegram channel okay so you can just search for novice hedge n o v i c e so i think i will have it in the top slide and this many slides i do have 
for my god okay so uh, i think novus has i not place my brand name itself okay n o v i c novus h okay so like uh, you can just uh, type the questions and whatsapp me okay so uh, i think my whatsapp number is scrolling down okay so you can definitely uh, send it to my whatsapp now because another important thing i do have almost like uh, 400 plus messages hundred i am sure so it's almost like 410 messages hundred so i'll be sparing my time on sunday so that uh, i'll be able to address you guys okay so uh, so sorry guys uh, because i was not able if, if someone has uh, requested any query or uh, any sort of request okay so uh, I, I i was not in position to answer it because there are almost like 400 messages which is hundred okay so um, thank you guys thanks for your love good night it's dd signing off for the day bye bye